Well, hey, check it out, man. We got the brand new uh, DHP uh, Choppers T-shirt. You know what I'm saying? That was yeah. Four man Choppers, man. You know what I'm saying? The three bar rim. We celebrating three years. You know what I'm saying? Chopping it up right here on Dine East Podcast. That's what's up. A lot up. of y'all be asking, man. Hey, man, how can I support you? And I say, hey, man, just watch the show. And they say, man, how can I really support you? Hey, man, get a T-shirt right now. DineEastWorld.com. You know what I'm saying? Black, smoke, gray, white. We got the hats. You know what I'm saying? All that. Subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Has always had a, some way to leave my Were they head. not trying to sign you at that time, or what happened with that? No, but I'm, man, baby wasn't about no paperwork with all that, man. It's just that you would cash money. <laughs> That's it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, baby told me that he was going to sign me. You know, we already had a verbal. Um, moving around, you know, I was over there working. You know, I was just... What I did was I made myself not be a burden. That's all that was on my mind. Because I'm like, let me put myself in these dudes' shoes. Yeah, I'm an outsider. You know, yeah, I'm getting an opportunity, but you still don't want the opportunity to be hard. I don't know if it makes sense or not. Mm -hmm. You don't want the opportunity to feel like it's hard. So I was easy for them guys. All I did was call Fresh every day. We had three studios we work out of. Fresh, which one we at? All right, we at downtown. Okay, we have Dada. We have Dada. And I just pop up at the studio. Whether I'm recording or whatever, I showed, I showed them my loyalty. You know mm. what I'm saying? I came in, you know, on time, sit there. When Manny Fresh making his beats and all that, I'd be playing around with it. Woo, woo, woo. Just like the Rich Niggas record. That record, you know, I was there. Everybody put a verse on that song. If y'all never knew. I'm talking about Baby, Manny Fresh, Turk, um, Juvie, Wayne. No shit. Me, BG was locked up. That's the only reason why BG was on there. And to be honest with you, bro, I think I really had a little kind of opportunity to do my thing because they were missing one. Hmm. I'm not saying that's what it is, but you know, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, but at the end of the day, BG came home and still love. It was all still love. But um, um, with the rich niggas, all of us had a verse on there. Man, I, I wrote at least about 30, 20 verses, bro. Keep balling it up. Yeah, I write on paper. We was writing on paper then. Mm -hmm. Ball it up, throwing it away. I said, man, and I ain't got on a, a record for Juvie yet. You know what I'm saying? And the bad thing about, the thing about Cash Money when we make, when we're making records over there, you know, when Fresh making records, you know, the formula we had then, you know, we don't even know who's going to be on the record. Mm -hmm. So we do what we do, and then we had to wait to see what Fresh do. So nobody has no say so. So I have to think about how, what will I do? I know I'm different, so I have to come with it. I couldn't, I, I have to come with it. That's why I was throwing paper away like it's crazy. So what I did was I said, man, let me go ahead and get him an intro that you could not deny. Mm. That's what I was thinking about. The first two words got to be for epic, where you like, woo, that's him. And let me, Big up is cash money. So let me go ahead and talk about what? My money. Mm. Let me big him up. So I said, um, it's like monkey see, monkey do. Rolling with the cash money brothers, I stay true. Because when we're riding, shining on the million dollar scene, them hoes and them niggas know what I mean. When we bring out the Rovers and the Hummer, followed by the Benz and the Lex bubble. Bubble Eye Lexus just came out. I said, when I started, say I had no fame. Now all the girlies, them, they calling me name. Now it's 10 G's to come and see me. Fax the contract straight to cash money. So you see, I was giving them, mm -hmm. I was fueling it, bro. I had to use my head. I said, bro, I, I got to be on this record. Well, lo and behold, record came out. I was the last one on there, but <laughs> hey, I was on there. I was hearing the, when we first played the record, I was sitting there listening. Um. Uh, Loud pipes, big rims, nigga. Mm -hmm. That's Wayne. Wayne came in with that bit. Then um, Juvenile used to be, I said, oh, Juvie next. <laughs> then you hear, um, I got more money guys in the factory. Turk came on there. I said, boy, he got about four more verses, but we only need one more. <laughs> so <laughs> four, he got four more in the deck. We all know that. But we trying to see, man, who got the last? All I was, mmm, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know that Papa Roo intro, la, that, mm, it's like monkey see. I said, yes, indeed. And to be honest with you, bro, that was one of the biggest records, even up to today. Mm. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.